What's up, people? So today I'm doing a review on a new camera that I picked up called LidCam. All right, this is one of those cameras that fits underneath the brill of your hat. Um, I saw it online and I was hesitant, but I realized that I do a lot of things that require both of my hands. If you're changing the catch can, mounting a camera, you know, you're, I'm always afraid that I'm gonna bump it, knock it over. Or when I'm driving and a lot of the encounters that I post or roll races, um, I wanna be able to look over, see who the person is, show you that, because when we pull the video from the dash cam, all you're getting is the front and rear. You're not getting the side. You don't see what they're doing or saying. So there's always, sometimes there's a question, no, they weren't racing, you know? So I wanna kind of eliminate that. So I picked this camera up and I talk about the build real fast. And I'll have a link in the description of the video if you're interested in something like this. This would have come in handy this past weekend when we took the family hiking, but let me show you the front. Um, it's made out of plastic. It's got little uh, lights on it that you can turn on, okay? But it's a solid build. Actually, I think it's too solid. It's kind of heavy, so we're gonna see what it feels like when we mount it. On the other side, in the under portion of it, since it's curved, you've got your um, LED on and off, the front lights I just showed you. Over here, you got one time zoom at you know, normal operation, and then four time zoom. You've got your power button, your record button in the middle, your microphone, which I've already tested this and the audio is not the best. Your voice is booming when you have this um, mounted underneath your hat. It also has built-in Wi-Fi. So you can download their app and you can transfer the files from this to your phone. I can tell you right now, it's very slow. On top, it has built-in camera, has the clips. And on the rear, you have your USB for uh, charging and also for your micro SD card. Um, that's pretty much it. So the only thing I don't like right off, besides how heavy it is, is that it says lid cam in white like that. I'm gonna have to black that out or file that down. I don't want that sticking out. I want it as covert as possible, but we're gonna mount this here now and show you what it looks like. All right, the camera's mounted. <laughs> I look like a complete, complete douche, but uh, all right. I mean, I look like, a, like if SEAL Team 6 had a goofy, you know, SEAL Team five and a half. This is ridiculous. But anyway, it is, you know, <laughs> it's on there. Honest to God, it does not feel uncomfortable. and It does not obscure your vision. I like to wear my hat low. I can see it, but uh, it, it's not obscuring my vision. Um, and it's not as heavy as I thought. It's not weighing my the front of my hat down. So let's get this rolling. We got to get to work. So you guys are going to get to see what I see inside my car and how messy my car is on a daily basis. You don't get to see this kind of perspective. First, we gotta tur turn it on. All right, it's on. You'll press and hold the power button until the red light comes on and then hit the record button and it'll start blinking and that'll let you know that it's working. So, so let's uh, let's get going. As you can see, I've got my Red Bull. I've got my uh, hand sanitizer, which now thanks to the pandemic I am addicted to. Uh, work, work, my lunch over here. All right, let's get rolling. I do want to add that the camera also has built-in stabilization. I'm trying to keep my voice down because when I tested this early in the morning, uh, it was, the audio was ridiculous because it was so loud, so. see over here this is my usual setup I've got my uh, iPhone mount it for the DJI Osmo action radar detector we have a hell of a lot of traffic up here for some reason And this is pretty awesome. For our test, we have a Jeep SRT coming up on my left. You guys can see that in my rearview mirror. And he 
went right through the red light. <laughs> uh, that's funny. I slowed down, so he would pull up next to me, and he goes through the freaking red light. You gotta love it. <laughs> All right. Oh, well, next time I'm not stopping. That's freaking funny. Now we gotta play catch up. Still laughing that the red SRT went right through the red light. I slowed down so I can have him side by side. There you are. That's probably somebody I know. <laughs> Dude, next time, slow down. Oh well. I gotta tell you, it, the camera is actually comfortable. It slightly touches the front of my forehead but there's no added strain or weight on the um on my hat doesn't feel funny doesn't feel different it actually feels comfortable I just look like a complete ass. <laughs> I mean, driving around with this is one thing, but walking around in public with it on is going to be uh, another issue. Now, this camera ha does have 1080p, um, 30 frames per second. It does have uh, 60 frames per second under 720, but for your full HD, it's only 30 frames per second, which kind of sucks because I do like the more fluid looking 60 frames per second when I record. That's what I use when I use um, the DJI Osmo Action. We're recording in 60 frames per second, uh, 1080p. Just get to see my usual, my daily drive to work. Of course, there's traffic, and uh, Waze is not showing us exactly what's going on up ahead, other than everything looks clear. Another thing that I just noticed that I don't like about the camera, that in my peripheral vision, I can see the camera, you know, um, right here, right? But after a few minutes, you kind of almost forget it's there. Like, it, you kind of get used to it, and all you see is a slight blur underneath the, the bill of your hat, or bill of your hat. So, but there's a red power or red uh, record button it's blinking and I get that you want to know that it's recording but it's right here maybe put it on the uh, side or the back side of the camera uh, that would be a suggestion because that's the only annoying thing about this right now is that um, I could see it blinking and it was something I, I noticed early this morning when I tested it that it was <laughs> it was blazing in the dark car like the, like a beacon light going off on the bottom of an aircraft 
and it is kind of annoying. So that's my one con so far of it and the audio. The two things that I really aren't a fan of uh, audio, the beacon light that's going on letting you know that it's recording. The size could probably be a little thinner. I don't know what type of components or internals that they made. Hopefully in the future they release one that's a lot thinner, more discreet and slides underneath your bill like covertly so you can record. I get it. You know, you need all the space you can with whatever available technology you're using. But those are just suggestions. Um, the pros. It's comfortable to wear. It's not you know, I do have a tendency to feel my head going like this, like I'm afraid that if I'm looking down that I'm not going to get the right perspective, but I guess you just got to let it go, drive and, and um, use the blur, you know, the camera as your, um, your guide. Um, I also like the fact that it's, it's built sturdily. It feels, it feels like it's built kind of good quality. It's a heavy-duty plastic. It's not cheap. It doesn't feel cheap. I don't know how long the battery will last. It says uh, just a couple of hours, but and I'm using a 32 gigabyte SD card right now. It takes a micro SD card, if you're wondering. I will experiment with a couple other different cards. I am going to end up filing or painting over this um, where it says lid camera. I don't want that sticking out like that. I'm just going to try to, you know, black it out with some paint or uh, file it off, you know. Definitely don't want that on there. I mean, I get it. It's your logo. You want to, like, get it out there. But I don't need it screaming, hey, lid cam. Um, maybe put that on the back or side also. So we're coming to the end of our drive and I'm going to take this camera off and do one last recap on it uh, and reiterate the things that I like, the things that I don't like, price point, all that stuff. You guys and girls beat it to the deciding factor, you know, if you like this thing or not. Can I get around this guy? All right, that's it. That's the end of our uh, our test. I'm at work, and I've got to uh, get this thing off of my hat. So let's just talk about this thing one last time. Let's just slide it off. It actually just pops right off here. Okay, it's still recording. All right, so let me turn that off. Press the record button one time. It stops. It's solid red. And we're going to press and hold the power button. Now it's off. All right, so a couple of things that I already mentioned. Uh, the size, a little bit thick, but it is comfortable when you wear it. So, I mean, this lid cam thing, guys, whoever, whoever designs this, take that off. Put it on the back, put it on the side, do whatever you want, but you don't need to broadcast that. It's just like, or, or 
I don't know. I don't like it. I want it to be thin and covert and be as minimalistic as possible. That's just me. I get it. It's marketing. You want to be like, look, it's a lid cam. I understand. But if I'm wearing this, somebody's going to come up to me and says, what kind of camera is that? They don't need to see this because they're not just going to stare in my face. Um, I didn't get a chance to test the LED lights. I'm going to test those out at night. Um, I did test the zoom. The zoom feature works pretty cool. Um, but you'll also lose a little bit in resolution when it does, zooms out four times. Again, for charging, it's a uh, micro USB. It's not a USB-C and your micro SD card over here. So, all right, that's all I got. Let me know what you think about it down below. If it's something I should just keep on using while I'm driving in case we come into more encounters, etc. Like you saw at the beginning of this video, I slowed down so the red SRT could pull up next to me and he blew the light. <laughs> I guess he's in a rush. Probably somebody I know. Uh, anyway, that's all I got. Do me a favor before you go. Hit that like button. Hit the little bell notification next to it. Down here, click the subscribe button. Last but not least, you guys and girls, all be safe. That's all I got. I'm out.